Ready? Hi guys, I want to introduce you to Tommy Dion, the new chief of the fire department here in Uxbridge. And who's this fine new man? This is uh, CJ. Hi CJ, how are you? I'm Sally. Nice to meet you. I'm Gail. Nice this to meet you. Gail, and you're Mark for John Moon. You are all set, my friend. Unless you want to hang out, I mean, you're more than welcome. We'll get back to you later, Tom. We are going to get back to you. <laughs> <laughs> My grandfather was part time show chief here for a little bit. Really? What was his name? Uh, Charles Foley. Oh, no kidding. Yep. Okay, excellent. Did you know Mr. Foley? I don't think so. I'm from Northbridge, so I get to claim that Merlin Blood wipes everything from Uxbridge out. Okay? I uh. love my town. All right, but here I love Uxbridge too, so I know why I work here. Why did you choose to work here? Is that your only reason? So that's, that's or? one of them. Plus, yeah. they've got a very progressive department. Very good group of guys. What? How old were you when you started? Uh, I was 26, so I've only been here about six months now. Oh, okay. Now, are you an EMT, a medic? Correct. You're a medic. Yep. My twin sister was a medic. Started here, right here. Well, right there. Miss Grant. She was a medic for uh, oh, geez, 20 years. She was an EMT for a little while. So, what else? What did you? All right. So, show us your your uh, fire. Uh, fire trucks here. How and what did they do? What are the differences? This is the ladder. This one is more used for aerial roof ventilation, aerial rescues. Someone, someone gets stuck on a roof, they use the ladder. We have to down from there. And if the engine holds all, it holds the water in the hose, so if there's a fire in the house, you can turn this one. And if the hose comes off, this is most likely to handle it the water on board. If not, you can use the hydrant. Cool. You got a favorite? More towards the engine. More towards the engine? Yeah? Excellent. What do you think about our little town? Oh, it's do you live here? Or? I do not. What My town? mother grew up here, so I've been. I've been I heard there was a lot of history in, the, in your house. Yeah, uh, I'm actually related to Steve. You are? Yeah, uh, he's my cousin. Oh, very nice, uh, very nice. Through marriage, actually. Uh huh. But I was always out in Oxbridge, up, just up the road of my grandfather's house when I was a kid. Very cool. We live just over in Belgium now. Oh, that's okay. That's not too bad. So it's not bad. Yeah. So, all right. So, what's you went to school in Dudley? Yep. And your grandfather was here? Yep. How old were you when that took place? Uh, he passed away years ago now, two years or so. Yeah. So, I spent most of my childhood. So, now the old fire station, which you know we can actually kind of look at because you know if you were here, you knew it was there. I, I used to spend a lot of time in that fire station. My twin sister actually lived in the apartment right behind us, right there. Okay. So she had very quick times, very quick times. Um, now the difference between that one and this one is huge. I, I'm amazed. Uh, this is my but first time in the building. It, it is absolutely. Gorgeous, first of all. Yeah, this right here was, oh no, this was more parking area. I guess the post office is more right here. Remember that? I think, I think the post office ended right about here, and this was their parking area. Park, it was a huge parking area. Yeah. Wow. What else? Favorite, are you on? Yep. What do you got for your favorite meal? Uh, easy one is probably the chicken So I do a lot of meal planning for myself. Uh -huh. I, make, I usually make them here. Oh, very cool. And and what? So are you also on that truck, or I don't get how it works we're now. We're more primarily on this truck. Okay, so you're on a medic truck. We're on the medic truck, and we use the, We go on this and this call. So our primary truck is the ambulance. But if there's a fire call, we go on. Excellent. I love that you guys are dual now because back in the day it was we had a fire department. And then we have the ambulance, the EMTs, and the medics. So now you guys are all kind of meshed together. So you don't really know what you're going to be doing during the day. Nope. That's awesome. I love that idea. Mm -hmm. Because either way, you're a superhero to me. Either one is a superhero. The fire department, the, the, the medics, the EMTs, the police, everybody in that is a superhero to me. I 
I, um, I grew up, of course, in Northridge, and um, we had friends that were on fire department. And I've always looked up to fire department and police department. I've always had a great respect for them. And I think our elderly grew up the same way. I think that they knew that it takes a special kind of person to be an EMT, a medic, a fire, or a policeman. Because not everybody does it. It's a very, it's, you know, it's, it's yeah, a It takes a special job. person. Yep, sure does. Yeah. So I would like to shake your hand, but because of this COVID thing, I'll do it when we can. How's that for a deal? Yeah. Um, Oxford Senior Center, this is CJ. Guys, look at that face. He's smiling. Mm -hmm. He's huge. My God, he's tall. How tall are you? Six foot eight. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we should bring Lisa over. <laughs> hey, it was great meeting you. Nice Thank to meet you. you. I noticed this thing on wheels. What is this? We call it a gear locker. It's a gear locker. So when we're on shift, some of us put our gear here so it's a little bit quicker. You come out the door from upstairs at night, you can come right here instead of having to go into the other room. And, uh, nice what number are you? I'm 46. So this is you? Yes. Oh, all right. Can you explain your gear? So you've got the coat with the thermal liners in it. Thermal liner, so hold that. Your pants, boots, your hood. Yep, so it'll go on. You fold back until you go to put your, your SCBA mask on. Up and over. Your seal will go back in. Your hood will go on. 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 And then that stick. Yes. Yep, and then Explain that. We call it a pike pole. Used to take down ceilings and walls. Mm -hmm. So you can short. So who painted reach. it? I did. I love it. Irish colors. Very Irish. <laughs> <laughs> I recognize that anywhere. Oh, this is awesome. So they also have a room pan over there, Gail. That is for all the other fire departments. How many guys are actually on? Or on the department? We can count them. So these are the guys that are at this station, and I believe there's four or five others at station three for engine three's crew. So is that the one out on 98? Yes, the one yes. Mm -hmm. This is so beautiful compared to the old one. My goodness. So is, do you have one in here with your name on it? 46? Yep. That's you. Oh, all right. Hey, it doesn't smell as bad in here as it did back in the day either. <laughs> Realize they were this so new who's the captain? Which one? How many captains do you have? Two. Two. Name them. We have Captain Blodgett. Melissa. Yep. And Captain Vizina. Oh, I don't know that one. Do? I don't think he's new. He's been here for a while. New Mike, me. Mike Vizina. Mm -mm. Oh, nice. She's got a nice little uh, name. Oh, it's a nice there. leather yeah. strap. Yeah, that's very cool. She's been doing this a very long time. Yep, her and With, Missy both have them. Yep. Oh, Very yeah. nice. <laughs> that's <laughs> Cheryl. That's Missy. Yeah, actually, I think Missy was here first. I believe And so. then Cheryl came. Yep. Yeah. And then, well, like I said, I knew Tommy and, and um, Steve a very long time, so. Oh, this is very cool. Well, thank you very much for no this. No problem. It was a nice trip. I love this. This is beautiful. so nice compared to the old one. Our Uxbridge station rocks. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Okay, thank you. Yep, no problem. Thank you so much. Look, no pain, no pain. Hi, guys. So, I wanted to show you this beautiful sight of these fire trucks over here, guys. So, not only are we interviewing our firemen, but look at these beautiful trucks they get. Hi. <laughs> there are four of them out here today. They're beautiful. <laughs> hey, Gail, I'm guessing this is the ladder truck. I think it is. <laughs> I think you're right, Sal. So. Um, I do believe. <laughs> and this is the last one. Pretty nice, huh? Yeah. Yeah, 
nice. They're all out here getting aired out. There's the ambulance in there. Yep. Beautiful. The ambulance. And next we'll do a, a, a fireman. That yeah. will be next. Yep. Okay. All right. Until then, Until stay then. safe. Mwah. Hey, guys. Check this out. We just were walking by and we see that the fire department is using stabilizers to level out the truck. That is so cool. I didn't even know that truck did this. <laughs> Well, they got them on both sides of the building. Both sides. Both sides. Yep. Oh, yeah. Moving. See, the back wheels are right off the ground oh, yeah. on this wow. side. So they're leveling it out. I wonder if it's self-leveling or if they have to do it. They do the ladder when they put the ladder up. Yeah, to stable. make to make it even, no matter what ground it's on. Yeah, folding. That is awesome. Nice. See, you learn something new every, every day. day. Sally, where are you? I'm an expert. Where are you? I'm here with you. Gail, I'm going to take you on a quick hike through the woods, guys. Oh. I promise she's coming back. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Let's go. Um, should I be afraid? Be afraid. Be very afraid. All right, where are we, Sally, though? We are in Uxbridge, and this little trail takes us to Lookout Rock, which is a favorite place to just go sit, relax, and enjoy the view. I don't even know, I don't know whose woods these are. I have no idea who owns this. Do you? No, I don't. Maybe we should we find, can find out. out. Yeah. But I've been coming here for years with my kids to just look at the view. It's absolutely beautiful. But personally, I have to pay attention to where I put my feet. Yes. Be careful. All right, I'm going to shut down for now. All right, guys, we are at Lookout Rock in Uxbridge. I think this is the prettiest view in Uxbridge. I mean, this is gorgeous when the, the leaves are turning colors and it's, you know, or it's all green. Mm -hmm. it, it's just beautiful. Even now it's beautiful. It is gorgeous. Yeah, the fall must be the best with yeah. all the leaves yeah. at their peak. It is pretty. Yeah, and way, way over there is the bridge. You know what reminded me of this is that hawk we saw a little while ago. Oh, yeah. Because we're up as high as him now. That's mm -hmm. what I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so pretty. Yeah, here yeah, we are. Yeah, when I was up Hi. here the other day. Wave for your shadow. Wave to my shadow. Hi. Hi shadow. <laughs> Look at my hello. <laughs> hello there. <laughs> Yes, no, you got to do oh. some more waving, Sally. <laughs> you got to just keep on waving, Sally. Keep on, no, keep on trucking. Keep on trucking. Woo! <laughs> I heard that one. That one echoed. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> All right, we got to get back to work, peeps. Okay. Well, this is work. This is this work. This is bringing this beautiful valley to our Uxbridge Senior Centers on, on the, the move. move. Woo-hoo. Okay. Woo! <laughs> there you go. That's the old Peppa. That's the old Peppa. <laughs> All right, I'm cold. Okay, let's go. <laughs> but you be careful. Put it, in your uh, put it down and put it in your pocket. Put your phone down. This is across the street from where we went up to Lookout Rock. Yeah. There's a car coming, so. Isn't this beautiful? Yeah, it's a pretty little place. Oh, Gailey, come here, look. That's a beaver has been cutting that oh, tree Oh, I right see. There. Yep. Careful. Isn't that cool? Yep. It's been working oh, I hard. I a dam somewhere. Is there any more? Like, there has to be more. It's Probably. <laughs> oh, across the way, he took that big one down. Yep. You could tell by the... 
So there's beavers here. Cool. Cool. Good to know. Yeah. Yes, so yeah. Go and look around a little bit and you find cool things. So this has to be like, oh, you think it's runoff? I'm not sure what the source of the water is. Yeah. Huh. It's almost ready to go ice skating on. Almost. <laughs> well, unless that, that water moves back there and then it won't freeze up. Yeah, I don't know. Very I nice. I've never paid attention until you stop. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yep. Sometimes you just gotta stop, stop and, and smell the roses. roses. <laughs> Beautiful. Look at this old pine. Look how many times she's been cut. Jeez. Who gets up there and cuts? Must be the electric company. Wow, they get up pretty high. Yeah. And there's woodpeckers that have been in that tree. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Beautiful. This is the hunting season notice. Oh, no, he can read it. And this is the other entrance. Hey! Where? To the right, to the right, to the right. Oh, okay. 